right? Dogs! We are taught by the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan to show courtesy, respect, and kindness, to be polite to all people as long as they are courteous, respectful, kind, and polite to us. But we must look at the fact that we don't teach hatred. Everywhere we go as black people, we face hatred. Look at it. Look at it. Angel food cake, white people say it's white. Devil's food cake, you say, is black. You wear white to weddings and black to funerals. Black ball, black male. You give us a blonde haired, blue eyed, pale skinned, buttermilk complexion Jesus in contradiction to the black Jesus with nappy hair in the Bible. Up next, we are here in Brooklyn at Herbert Dortry's church at the Tribune for the great Dr. Khalid Abdul Muhammad. The next speaker, guest speaker, lecturer you will be seeing is Dr. Umar Johnson. He gave great information for all in attendance at this great event. Stay tuned, we have an exclusive interview coming up, but we'll just show you some footage of all the people in attendance.
It's a shotgun mic, but your voice carries. So, gotcha. uh, peace. We're here from Akabula on Mine. We have the great Dr. Umar, uh, who has come out in honor of Dr. Khalid's memory, yes. and he dropped so much information, so much knowledge. One of the points you touched on that just hit me that makes so much sense. You, you said how much money is made off black failure. The only other scholar I heard worded was Dr. Yala Africa, who said mm. there are industries that make money off our dysfunctions, yes. whether it's alcohol, tobacco, yes. uh, other behaviors, they get rich off. Mm -hmm. So how do we disconnect from that? I know you spent time spending, but for yes, our yes, viewing yes. audiences, how do we break that code? I think the way we break that code is, number one, we have to give our people an alternative. Mm -hmm. Whenever you want people to stop doing one thing, you got to point them in a different direction. Mm -hmm. One of our weaknesses is our people know what they should not do, mm -hmm. but there's no alternative to switch it. Mm -hmm. So we have to build systems, programs, and institutions to give our people an opportunity to do something different. Mm -hmm. It's like when you say, buy black. Well, mm -hmm. you can say that. Mm -hmm. But if I have four children and I'm a single parent, and I'm surrounded by Latino, Arab, Asian, East Indian businesses, I cannot buy black. You have to give me an alternative to make it easier. So it's one thing to put a demand on our people, but it's something else to give them that alternative. People criticize the church a lot. And of course, we know a lot of churches do good, like this one here. But for those churches that don't do good, if you want the people to leave it, where is your magnet? Where is your alternative system, institution, that's gonna draw them away from the dysfunctional behavior to the functional behavior? Without alternatives, we cannot expect our people to change. Mm, mm, mm. And, and it can't get any clearer than that. You also question why do parents uh, submit and give their right to their children to be analyzed and assessed by people who hate them. Yes. But is it like the white coat syndrome when people walk into a doctor's office, they feel they have no right to speak That's exactly their own what it is. Body. We already have an inferiority complex vis be white people. Mm. That inferiority complex is intensified when the white person has credentials that exceed our own. So we walk into the doctor's office, we're already intimidated because they're white. And then we're additionally intimidated because they're dying. Mm -hmm. We go into the school, we're already intimidated by the principal and teacher because they're white. Then we're additionally intimidated by the fact that they hold a master's or a doctorate degree. Mm -hmm. So you're looking at double, triple, quadruple intimidation, mm -hmm. which is working against our children's best interests. Mm -hmm. So our parents have to start walking into the school system unapologetically African, mm -hmm. speaking up mm -hmm. for the best interests of their child as they see it. Right. Forget right. being an expert, forget the credentials, mm -hmm. because none of the diagnoses that are putting our children in special ed can be scientifically verified. Their that. opinions, their philosophies, their theories, they're not facts. And because they cannot be proven, because no theory can be, mm -hmm. your opinion is just as important as the psychology. I share, I share. So you're getting that message across. You mentioned several events that a parent that yes. believe was 11 to 17. Yes. If they have a youth, please give those dates, those locations, how can they come out and support you? Yes, the second annual Unapologetically African Frederick Douglass Marcus Garvey Black College and Consciousness Tour will be leaving from Atlanta, Georgia. I repeat, Hotland to Georgia, June the 28th to July the 12th, 14 days, 14 nights with Dr. Umar Johnson. We're going to go to the Dr. King Center. We're going to go to uh, Clark University, Spelman, Morehouse, Tennessee State, this Lamona Owen College, South Carolina State, Tuskegee. We're going to do the Charleston Civil War Boat Trail, the Slave Tour, the Oyotunji African Village, the George Washington the Carver Museum, the National Civil Rights Museum. We're going to play paintball. We're going to go to the beach. We're going to go to the amusement park. We're going to eat at different African restaurants, serving different African cuisine from around the continent. So if you have a son or daughter between the age of 11 and 17, if you have an African boy or girl between the age of 11 and 17, send them with me so I can give them an 
intellectual awakening, a conscious crucifixion into the divine mind of African people. You can get that information at princeofpanafricanism.eventbrite.com. Prince of Panafricanism.eventbrite.com. You can also get me on the website, drumarjohnson.com. You can also hit me up, 8444 Dr. Umar, 8444 Dr. Umar, or 215 989 9858. Every Tuesday, Black Parent Teleconference. Any questions about your sons or daughters, education and mental health, I give out free advice every Tuesday, 6 to 8 a.m. The phone number is 857 232 0158. 857-232-0158. The access code 870-864-POUND, 870-864-POUND. Any questions you have about your children, you can get advice from yours truly. We're also working on the Frederick Douglass Marcus Garvey Academy. Keep them donations coming. GoFundMe.com forward slash Dr. Umar. Check your money orders payable to FDMG Academy. P.O. Box 6872, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, 19132. We got 700 grand, but we pushing up to a mill. Let's get this school. We're going to get to school in 2017. And I promise you, on Nat Turner Day, August the 21st, Haitian Revolution Day, August the 21st, George Jackson Day, August the 21st, my day, August the 21st of 2018, will be the first day of school at the Frederick Douglass Marcus Garvey RBG International Leadership Academy for Pan-African Excellence. We're also working on a two-week Africa trip. That information coming soon. I'm working on a Dr. Papa cruise to the Caribbean. Caribbean, Jamaica, Haiti, Brazil, and Cuba. So we're doing the work. It ain't just yes. the talk, we walk in a walk, exactly. race versus exactly. renegades, exactly. gangster Garveyism, unify or die, Pan Africanism of Paris. Exactly. Stop the hate. Yes. If you want the title, you got to take uh -oh. it. Uh oh, uh oh. <laughs> but now, a comment on that before my last question. 11 to 17 is the most formative yes. years of a young person's life. Yes. They're rolling up into adolescence. They have all these different things going on with their bodies physically. They're trying to understand the culture around them that is anti-black. So where else do you need your young person to be around a steward that's going to take them through that insanity and teach them the love and strength that they have within themselves? So you've got to bring your, your child on board with his brother. My last question. You mentioned that you would be interested in having um, a conscious community collective of sorts. Could yes. you realize? First annual International Black Consciousness Convention. You understand? It's yes. going to be United Nations of Consciousness. We want everybody there. Okay. Hebrews, okay. Moors, the Wapians, Black okay. Socialists, Pan Africans. All the invited. Everybody, everybody there. We got the unify right now because we got an enemy that's greater than any of us individually. We got to bring this thing together. Marcus Messiah Garvey said the greatest weapon used against the Negroes this organization. Yes. Yes. Stokely Carmichael Quarry to race that you organize a little, you get a little done. You organize some, you get some done. Right. If you don't organize at all, you don't get anything done. Exactly. It's not that the white man is more intelligent, he out-organizes you. It's not that the Chinese is more intelligent, he's out-organizing you. The Arab is not more intelligent, he's out-organizing you. Mm -hmm. Kill the cracker inside exactly. so we can give birth to the app. Exactly. So you're calling for unity. Unity, in brother. Community. Unity. So, and no then, more hate. It's then all then unity. This might even be the first gesture of, of unity, possibly, even though this show is being taped for Happy Boo Online. Yes, sir. If I have your approval, sure. I would like to present it yes, you can. on airways. Yes. That in the past might have been whatever, but I know they might love you. I love you. Umar. Yeah, but guess what? I'm going to shop this on Black News 102. Yes, I'm going to reach out to Doggy Diamonds. I'm going to reach out to all these brothers and say, let's come together. Let's come yes, together. Let's With the right mindset. Yes, With check no the intent, egos at the, the door. hustle, ego, status. Everybody come on the one plane. Yes. Remember, yes. our culture is not vertical. Mm -hmm. Our culture is horizontal. Yes. Everyone equal. Let's come to the table like right, that. Right, right. The circle. Yeah, and you all have importance. Everyone yes, has everybody. a role to Everybody play. got a role to play. That got to be bigger, smaller. Everybody's important. But let's come on and be on the same team. That's right. You know, let's roll with the teamwork, team baby. Doing the work. So, in closing, good Can't brother, win a Super Bowl by yourself. Yes. Continue. Uh, much respect. Thank much love. love. Continue to do your work. Yes. And continue to come out and support this brother, Dr. No Omar. doubt. Brooklyn. One of our champions. Shout out to New York. Y'all helped to make me. Shout out to uh -oh. Chicago. Y'all helped to make me. Mm. L.A. Houston. Carolina. Detroit. Mm. Indianapolis. Jamaica. Indeed. South Africa. Nigeria. You will see me soon. Turks and Caicos Islands. Bermuda. St. John. St. Croix. St. Thomas. The prince is here. Our champion, you're our champion.
Oh my.